Hey guys, it's Five Minutes on Friday, and today we're going to talk about cabinets. First, since I'm wearing a Mesa Boogie shirt, and these are my Mesa Boogie cabinets, I'd like to explain a real quick disclaimer. I have no skin in the game when it comes to Mesa Boogie. In other words, I don't sell Mesa Boogie, and um, I uh, never have. There's a store by my store called The Music Store in Mesa. Great store, and I buy my Mesa Boogie there. This shirt I bought off MesaBoogie.com. I'm just saying that because this video is going to be a very pro Mesa Boogie uh, video, and I don't want you to think that I'm trying to sell you any Mesa Boogie. If you buy Mesa Boogie, that's on you. Okay, I have two identical Mesa Boogie cabinets. Both have vintage 30 speakers in them, and both are 112s. Except for one is open back and one is closed back. And I think you guys have some misnomers when it comes to why these cabinets are way, the way they are. Let's explain cabinets and the history of cabinets first. The very first cabinets were open back because they were combos. Combos refers to a combination of the amplifier and speaker in one box. They were open back to vent the heat from the tubes. No problem. And they sounded great. But then they created, then they came across a problem. And the problem was in a live situation when playing in a concert, the drummer is here and your guitar player is here. And what happened was, right, that the amp was bleeding out sound out the back of it into the microphones of the drum set. So they started making closed back cabinets to solve that problem or putting baffles or things behind the amps. The most famous closed back cabinet of all time is the Marshall 412. And I think that's where the biggest misconception of all time when it comes to cabinets came about. The Marshall 412 is bassy because it is big and it has 412 inch speakers, not because it's closed back. Closing a cabinet cuts down bass, restricts the low end frequency. Here's why. Let's talk about Mesa Boogie for a second. They like to point out in all their, all their literature that they use marine grade void free birch. Well, why would somebody claim, why would somebody make that kind of claim? Well, here's why. Why, why would it even be important? That is what I'm trying to get at. Here's why. It's important because what they're saying is the wood that they're using, the plywood, is good enough to use boats, to make boats, which means it'll hold, it'll hold water out of it or seal water from getting in and out and or air. So in this cabinet, when you make a closed back cabinet, if you notice on Mesa Boogie, which is hard to see, they even, in fact, I'm gonna take the camera and move it to it. They even plug the hole you're not plugging into. You see that? They don't want air to escape out there. You've seen that before. No, right? So here's why they do that. They do that because this cabinet, once they plug the jack in, they want air tight. And this is why. When you hit a power cord or a cord and the speaker pushes out, it then sucks the volume of air that's inside the cabinet. Now, whatever that volume of air is, once it's, once it's been utilized, it is done. In other words, once the speaker's pulled the, the, the air that is inside the cabinet and it can't pull anymore, the speaker coils back. What happens by cutting the amount of air that the speaker can have, in other words, right, you're making the speaker be tighter sound, right? Tight, well, it's tighter, it's moving shorter, shorter bursts, which creates a tighter, punchier sound. Okay, if you make an open back, there's an infinity amount of air, okay, which means the speaker will coil more loosely, in other words, bit deeper pushes, right? Creating more low end frequency, having a softer sound. So essentially, you use closed back cabinets for tighter. That's why a 412 is closed back because they're already in that size box, it creates so much bass, you don't need any more. When they port, they're doing the same thing. They're just creating holes to, for the air to suck in, but they're creating it in a different way. And since the majority of guitar amps are not ported, and there's only a few of them, we're not going to talk about them. Stay on focused on what's, what's relatively available everywhere. So why do I have identical cabinets that are different? Well, if I want to play blues or jazz or rock, I use the open back because it's softer and warmer. When I play metal, I play the closed back because it's punchier. And when I play chords, gent music, you know that jint, 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 that sound. When you play that style of music, because it's so muted and staccato, when you chunk on it, you want your speakers to be ready for the next, you know, right? You don't want this kind of loose bassy tone uh, creating a, a droning sound, right? So they tend to stick with closed back cabinets. So the cool thing about that is, is that you can get different sounds out of the same amplifier by changing the cabinets. Now the question now is, what if you have a closed back cabinet and now you realize that you should have an open back cabinet? Well, besides selling it and buying a new one, you could take the back off. It's real popular to cut sections off of them off. I don't really tell you guys to cut up your amps, but I'm just letting you know if you vent the air, you'll have the same effect. What if you have a combo? How do you get a tighter sound? Well, I mean, sadly enough, there's nothing you can do when it comes to that because like I said, it's, you're trapped. 
Amps like the 6505 combo and the 5150 by Fender uh, combo both isolate the amp from the cabinet so the cabinet can be sealed because Eddie likes the closed back sound versus the open back sound because of that same reason I explained earlier. So that's what you do. But that's also why when you've heard a amp combo in a head form with a closed cabinet, why they sounded different. And that's why sometimes they don't put reverb on the head version, only on the combo version, because they figure if you want the combo version, you're going for a different sound, an airier sound with some reverb and some smoother tones. And if you're going for the, the head, you're going for the rock sound, which you don't want, want reverb because you're trying to keep it tight and punchy. They're not trying to penalize you by making the amps different. They think there's two different customers out there. They don't realize that you're really one and the same customer nowadays. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Know your gear.